Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest II. In the last one, we were here in this cave on the way to what I presume is the end of the game, at least the last section of the game. And, uh, well, right before we ended off the episode, I fell down into this hole right here, and we got ourselves a brand spanking new sword for your boy Funk, and it's gonna be epic. Let's figure out how to get out of this room now. I guess there's another hole in here. Where we're gonna end up, only time will tell. Please tell me this takes me where I need to go. God, I hope I end up... Uh, please take me where I need to go. No, we're back here again. Ah, shit, dude. That's not what you want to see. I forgot where... Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. We're back at the beginning. That's where I am. Back. Fack. Well, at least we got a cool new sword. Fack. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. Damn it. <laughs> I was all excited about the new sword, which I still am. But damn it. Okay, I know where not to go. Or I know where to go to get the sword so I don't have to do that again. So that that's fine. <sighs> anyway. So anyway, how's everybody doing today? For those of you who are wondering, uh, as of recording this, I literally had have just finished up my Detroit playthrough. I don't want to talk about any details there for, you know, spoilers on another playthrough. Just wanted to point out that if anything gets brought up about Detroit in this in the in these in this session of this game, because I literally just finished that. Um, yeah. So yeah. That happened. And, uh, we're playing some BQ2, which I assume this today's session, if I play for long enough, we'll probably finish up this game as well. Uh, like I said, we're I think we're on well on our way to the actual end of the game, but we will see. We will see. Um, let's do some kaboom. That's how you clear it out, baby. That's how you clear it out. See ya. Dude, where the hell is that staircase at? I'm lost. I'm lost, mommy. I'm. Did I miss the staircase? I mean, I obviously did. Good lord. Ah, oh, this is no good. This is no bueno. Please kill the last gremlin. I don't want to deal with him right now. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. And we got another level up. The lane of 28, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's do a little heal action while we add it. Because we got a level up, it's time to save. Okay. So I thought it was just the first. Or not the first, sorry. I thought it was the third. Like the third one through here, but... Maybe I'm misremembering? Man. I don't know, man. I'm just fucking lost at this point. Ugh, God damn it. Ugh, cha -cha -cha. Let's just hope we can figure out our way. So, it's not the second one, right? It's not. It's gotta be the third one. I thought it was the third one. That's the point. Um... Hmm these guys with a little bit of that sizzle. A little bit of that sizzle, sizzle, baby. Do not. That worked out alright. I like Funk's defense at this point. He's taking very low amounts of damage from physical attacks. He's kind of beasting with all that defense and no toothbrush. Dude, where the fuck is the staircase at? I'm lost. Okay, there it is. I found it. I don't know how I found it, but I found it. 
Oh, how do I remember where I go from here? I don't remember. I think there was a whole, like, side of a staircase that I never took before, I remember. I don't remember which one it was. Speaking of Tecmo Super Bowl, I know it got brought up earlier in the chat. Uh, I actually just played Tecmo Bowl on my stream yesterday, or Saturday, or fr uh, Friday, rather. We did Porsche Cookie Friday. Tecmo Bowl finally got picked. We played a little bit of football. That was a good time. Um, I'm actually still contemplating whether or not I'm going to do a finish it or another Fortune Cookie Friday this Friday. This, like, next Friday. Also, Kane level 33, Juke. Pop a save. Actually, let's pop a slight heal first. Just a, just a regular heal. It's fine. And if I walk around this dungeon long enough, I might have to go back and fucking heal again. But yeah, you missed me playing some Tech Mobile. I played uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. And I also played uh, the original Double Dragon for a little while. And I, I ran into some ridiculous glitches on that game, so... Kinda got upset at Double Dragon OG and stopped trying. <laughs> Kinda pissed me off. Stop putting me to sleep, you weak saw zombies! Don't you spew on me! Quit spewing! You sick freaks! Damn it with your poison bullshit! Come on. It's like, come on. God, these zombies are annoying as hell, dude. Like, they're not even strong. They're just annoying. Who's got more MP? She does, right? Squelch it. Pissed you off? To the streams archive with haste. <laughs> yeah, Double Dragon 1 definitely pissed me off. I don't know how much I really raged at it. I was more like just upset with the game because it like glitched on me like literally you'll see it if you you'll, you'll know it when you see it it's not that long of a, of a playthrough the, the double dragon playthrough if you want to see some anger though shoddy my super mario brothers 2 one was filled with that uh i fucked up a lot in that playthrough and so i was very angry at myself in that one Poison again, damn it. Let's just put it this way, Dragon. I get pissed off at almost everything. <laughs> RPGs will even piss me off for some reason or another, depending on what the problem is. Ah, <sighs> let's quick save being in this room. I don't remember oh wow. Literally a hole as you walk in. Okay. This is the room I wanted to explore completely. I was literally gonna walk through every single uh, square here and just see if I fall into another hole. Ah, uh, the flame guys. Um, yeah, I guess attacking them was the best way to go, right? You're about 35 episodes into the Mario Maker 2 YouTube videos. Some good stuff. Good, good. Yeah, definitely anything that's like a longer video was there was probably some rage in it. So, yeah, because on on Mario Maker 2 I posted every ep every episode is a different level, and so yeah, I'm literally gonna check every square. I don't remember which squares I checked for sure, other than on the far left last time. So we're gonna just go up and down this room right now. Damn it! Don't kill Kane also, you fuck. Luckily, both these guys have spells to revive now, which is nice. 15 MP, though. That's a lot. Let me go ahead and save it again. I 
I'm literally just gonna zigzag my way through this room. This is gonna be the rest of the session. <laughs> uh, it won't. It'll go fast enough eventually. Or I'm just gonna max out my level in the process. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whoa! Cause I wanna check all the squares. Whatever it takes. Whoa! Might have to leave to heal my bees up though. I do whatever it takes. <sighs> Especially with this encounter rate being so garbage. Yeah. So garbage. Yeah, I even get mad at this game. Fucking encounter rate's absurd. <sighs> Mid heal. I just have to keep enough MP to evac the fuck out of here. That's all I need. Well, and to teleport back somewhere I want to be. Uh, sizzle on the Argonauts. But it also means I have to make sure that one of those guys survives. Gotta be a little bit careful. I probably would have been better off going back to heal once I ended up back on the first floor, huh? That probably would have been the best time. Whatever, dude. We leveled up again. That's all that matters. Your boy Funk is 36. Chew. Getting so swole. Watch me as I zigzag. I wonder if I should have done it more like in a in like a like a, what I say, like a cinnamon roll pattern, you know, like a swirl pattern, where I like start at one spot and kind of like walk around in like a spiral circle, spiral pattern, a spiral out from a corner. You know what I mean? I wonder if that would be more effective to finding an actual hold and checking every single square with a zigzag. I don't know. Probably. Kind of already started this process, though, and I'm just gonna stick with it. At least as far as I can. And then we'll probably have to leave and come back and do it again. That'll be cool. well, I won't start from the beginning. I'll start from the left side, probably. <sighs> I mean, unless we find a hole, that'd be nice. I just can't imagine this big ass room only has one hole to fall through, and I found it already. It's too big of a room to not have one other hole. Even if there's only one more. God damn it, man. Can I just run? Of course, the one time I try to run, they fucking block me. No consistency. I just figured I'd try again. It would have backfired, I'm sure. I don't, know. I don't know why I ran from that one in the first place. I was just... I didn't like it. I didn't wanna. <laughs> fucking Hargonaut. Don't be dodging me. These things are too strong, man. Purple Argonaut Fox. They hit very hard. Also, yay, another level up. Elaine is now 29. Whoop. Let's see. Let's Mid heal on Elaine. That's fine. I'm only like six squares from the wall. <laughs> I haven't gone very far. <sighs> the encounter rate is just too absurd, man. Breeze that fire. Stop it! Oh my god! Fuck my bung bung bung. Let's 
freaking douchebags and their fiery breaths of bullshit. Also, Kane is about to be out of MP. Maybe I should just go now. Let me get all the way to the bottom, and I'll just say I'm seven squares away from the wall. I need the MP, man. I don't want to get stuck in here having to run from battles and save scumming. I guess I could just die. What else am I going to use my money on, you know? I'd rather not, though. Forty-eight and forty-nine! Good lord. I guess they did do Kassap, but seriously, that's a lot of damage. Their counter rate reminds you of Digital Devil Saga? Don't remind me of that! You want to see some rage on an RPG? Watch me play that one, shoddy. I don't know if you haven't already. I don't know if you're talking about my playthrough of your own, or your own. Fuck the encounter rate in that game. That encounter rate pissed me right the hell off, too. Alright, I've only made it one, two, fuck you. One, two, fuck you. I can't even count how many spaces I am from the wall before I fucking fight the battle. Piece of shit. Three, four, five, six, seven. So seven steps away from the wall. That's as far as I've gone. Woot. Alright. the hell out of here. We'll be back. I gotta go heal. <sighs> Fucking pain in the ass is what this is. Let's go to uh, 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 somewhere cheap, I guess. I'm... Doesn't really matter that much. Got everything to sell? I got some Tombola tickets. I can sell my Dragon's Bane. I just hold on to all of it. I mean, I can use the Tombola tickets though. Is there a Tombola thing here? I think there is one here, actually. I have 40k. How much was that one armor? Was it like 65? Is that how much it was? I almost have enough to fucking buy one of those. I'm trying to think if I should bring anything with me. Um, I don't think there's a Tombola thing here, so... Do 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 to Baron. Can't wait till I get through this cave because I know there's gonna be a fast travel spot at the end of the game. It might even just be the last place in the game has a fast travel spot. That's what I'm hoping for. Really and truly. You know, Funky, you use the term sir in my tone of voice too often in real life now, even in professional environment, then think people uh, then people think I'm mocking them. But they don't understand the G at all. I know. They don't understand the G. It's, it's okay. If they don't understand the G. They don't then they don't then they don't matter, man. They don't matter. I don't think they understand, sir. I mean, I just say it in, like, a way... I, I mean, the way I say it is supposed to be not, like, condescending or mockingly, but I say it in a way it's like, you know, I'm saying it... It's like a respectful way to be like, yo, you need to pay attention, sir. Something real is going down right now. It's a big deal. Also, that's a hole in the ground. Damn it. I don't remember. What does this staircase lead to? I just don't remember. I'm sure I've already checked it. Before. But now I gotta remember. I gotta reminder myself. In the meantime, we just spiked some more Saber Cats. So where does this go to? This went to... 
Dead end room? What was in here before? Was there something in here before I already picked it up? Is this literally just a dead end? I'm gonna check all the squares just in case there's a hole in the ground. I don't remember this room though. Maybe it's just a dead end room. Yep, seems like there's no hole here. Okay. Oh well. I don't want to eat another Slim Jim, I'm not gonna lie. Ate a couple Slim Jims before I got started here on the DQ. Now I kinda want another one. I mean, they're just little snack sized Slim Jims. Anyway, back through the maze one more time. One more time? Yes, one more time. Third door. So wait, what did I, I think I like walked through here, and I went up one more, and then the stairs were there. Uh, anyway, uh, ghouls. Um, I'll get... Cease the ghouls. Funky and Kane can pretty much take out two of any enemy in any one turn. I mean, I think Kane's strong enough to take out any enemy with one hit in here so far. I'm trying to think if there's any that survived. I'm not sure. Anyway, back to this room one, one more time, one more time, one, one more time. Back to this room one, one more time, one, one more, more time. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, before I go back in that big ass room and zigzag through it for a while, I might double check that there's no other paths that I missed in that room before I fell into the big ass room. And if I fall back into the big ass room while doing that, I'll probably just zigzag it around then. <laughs> Can we like stop with the status effect, you noob ass zombies? Cut it out. You're pissing me off, right? with all this poisonous shit. Elaine is no longer poison. reason you don't play these RPGs too often is the looping music, especially when dramatic like this. Yeah, I can understand. The, the looping music can get quite annoying and old, especially with the battle music, especially. Like especially, especially. How many times can I say especially? Um, yeah, the, the battle music can get quite redundant if you keep fighting millions of battles like we are right now. It's one thing walking through a dungeon... But that would go faster if we weren't fighting a million billion battles that have the same battle music also. It's pretty lay epic, I know. Also, yay, another hole! We're back in the big room. Woot. The encounter rate really is to blame. For sure. Let's kill the Hargonaut first. He's stronger. The Berserkers hit harder also, but they're definitely harder. That's the only complaint you have in the Dragon Quest series, is the music's all the same. I can understand if the music's always the same in the games, you would get bored of playing them. Like, you wouldn't want to play Dragon Quest back to back to back to back all the games. You would get sick of the music. And especially when you have to go through shit like this and grind a lot and all this fun stuff. Hey, look, a killing machine. One thing about furniture, killing machines. Two words about furniture? I think it's two words, actually. I think I said that wrong. Two words about furniture, killing machines. Dang, I'm just finding all the holes, aren't I? Gosh darn. 
But whatever. Find some holes. See if I care. We'll uncover them all. Gosh darn it. Diggity dang. Douche get a do 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 do. I know the commentary so far has been super riveting. <laughs> I mostly blame the encounter rate though. <sighs> Your encounter rate wasn't this bad when you played the game, Shoddy? Well, lucky you. Because this is how bad the encounter rate is in my playthrough. God damn. Like, I'm not even mad that I'm falling. I'm more mad because this. This! The encounter rate. We need a spell that lets us just not fight battles at all. For a short amount of time. Not necessarily fend off the weak stuff, but all the stuff. That would be nice. Let me just quick save. Just for the hell of it. Just for the halibut. Fuck! Holes everywhere, man. Hey, look, some dragons. I was wondering if we were going to run into these fuckers ever again. Hey, look, some dead dragons. Didn't see them for very long, did we? They give a lot of experience, though. Dang it. I'm, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to see if I can get to that other staircase in this room. I don't remember if I ever got to it. If I did, I don't remember what was what, where, where it led, so I want to check. Get rid of Jason and the Hargonaut real quick. Or we just need Ry Ryuji's insta-kill ability from Persona 5 for weak enemies. Or like, from Earthbound, or Paper Mario, or other games that are like that. The thing is, the enemies in this area aren't necessarily weak for me, that's why Holy Protection doesn't work. If I if they were weaker enemies, then the Holy Protection would work, but right now we're not overleveled enough. Anyway, Funky's 37, that's pretty epic. Also, Elaine as well. Yup! Lane level 30, baby. Feeling good. Hocus Pocus. What does that one do? Does it summon three witches to fuck shit up? I'd be down. It's obviously a... a, 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 a what do you call it? A spell to use in battle. Yeah, exactly. Like, even though I'm doing all this fighting, the leveling is what's making it worth it. If I wasn't getting levels along the way here and we were just fighting battles that didn't mean anything, I'd be more upset. So, the fact that we're just leveling while we're doing this is just icing on the cake, really. It's fine. It's super annoying, don't get me wrong. It feels like we're going to be here all goddamn day. But yeah. And obviously, yeah, the more I level up, the faster the battles will go. So... It really just, all of this is progress, even if we're not seeing anything new yet, you know? In fact, we did just get a level up. Let's quick save that shit. Alright. Damn it! <laughs> ah! Can't even take, like, five steps. Ridiculous. I just want a few more steps before you fucking cock block me, man. Just a few... And there is Kane again. Now he's 35 also. Beautiful. Ooh, Kamikaze spell. Okay, we need to check what these spells do next battle. I haven't checked what Hocus Pocus does either. Dang it. <laughs> I, I should have known that would have been the way to fall. Damn it. Maybe I didn't get to this staircase down here, and I just am dumb. I'm keep. I'm gonna keep taking the same path, just in case I happen to hit a different hole. 
Oh, I keep forgetting to check my damn spells. It's okay. It'll happen in, in, in any moment now. Those guys give a lot of experience points. 700 for one of them. That's pretty good. Alright, what does Kamikaze do? Sacrifices the caster's own life in order to destroy enemies. It costs one MP. I mean, it's called Kamikaze, so I can't, can't be mad. That's what it is. What is Hocus Pocus? Take a chance with Lady Luck. Only she knows what will happen. What the fuck does that mean? Not doing that right now either. But maybe I'll try that out on a random battle where... Well, maybe I'll try it on like a, a single enemy just to see. Not a group. Like maybe I'll try it right now. This would be a good time to try it. Oh. Okay. Well, that buffed up my defense. I wonder if it's literally random. Like, you don't know what the hell it's going to do. Is it, like, sometime going to attack, sometime going to do a heal, sometime going to do a buff, a debuff? I wonder how random it actually ends up being. Hard to say, but interesting nonetheless. Damn it! We're so close. Three of these guys. I'm just gonna fucking kaboom them. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking the same thing. I wonder if it could be like the hocus pocus could be a bad thing for yourself, you know? It's not always something good. It could be something bad. I would imagine yes, that is the case, but I don't know what the other options are. We've only done it once and we got a defensive buff, which is pretty good. Not great for a random battle, when we're going to be done with the battle real fast, but still, not a horrible outcome. Could have been worse. How much money? 46. Man, I feel like we should have so much more money. For as many battles as we, as we fought, they don't give you nearly enough money. Kane died, shit. What do I think of the enemy design so far? I think it's been pretty good. There's a lot more detail to the enemies in this game compared to the first game. Um, there's definitely a way less palette swaps. Even though there are palette swaps, there's way less of them, for sure. Um, but I like a lot of the new enemies. They're 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 pretty interesting. Like almost every enemy in this dungeon, specifically other than the green dragon, is completely new design and new enemy, completely. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that are comebacks in the first game besides that in this dungeon, besides the green dragon. Speak of the devil. Um. I don't think so. Not that I remember, anyways. Could be wrong. I might be forgetting something. I like that battle, though. You get a lot of points for that one. Two dragons and a berserker, or a killing machine, rather. That's a lot of experience points to be had. All right, we made it to the staircase. Holy crap. Maybe I haven't been here. Let me quick save it. Maybe I've just wasted my time completely going through that big ass room zigzagging. Well then. Whoa, Silva Pithecus, huh? You look interesting. Let's just attack him and see what happens. He dodged me. Okay, he does sleep mode, that's fun. Wow, the two people who have sleep resist, he, he hit them both. Lucky for me, Funky's a beast, so he whoops ass. And we got... Ooh, wow! A free Dragon's Bane! Are you kidding me? Wow. A free one. Cool.
Damn, hell experience points though. Good lord. Don't snooze me, bro. Oh, I get, I get you. I was for a second. It took me, it took me a second to realize what you meant by that, shoddy. He said, "Because Funky just had some soda," and you're like, "What?" Because I literally just drank some soda before the stream. That makes sense. I get it. That's why I didn't fall asleep. Joke understood. Well done. I can't help but wonder if that fucking monkey thing that we fought a minute ago was like super rare. Or if that just starts appearing on this floor. Left or right, left or right! Always left, you know. Get out of here, dragon. Do 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 do. 31 for Elaine, that's my girl. Oh yes. Gotta love that we're all over 30 now. Um, can't help but wonder if there's like a hole. But I don't know if I would want to fall down the hole anyway, so. Just don't put me to sleep. Put to sleep. Please don't put me to sleep. I don't want to sleep. Not right now. You, you beep. Ah, uh, dicks. Okay. Wait. Was there another way to go, though? That felt like that was all the directions left to go. Hold on, where does this go? Okay, let's try this way. I don't I think I checked all the ways that way. I think I did. Whatever, we'll try this way, and if it still leads to dead ends, then that's fine. We'll go back the other way again. Silvapithecus, what a name really not that hard. Going left. Nope. Going right. New spot. Okay. Um, going up. I can't look at that name Killing Machine without thinking of that goddamn Lonely Island song. Because you only live once. So remove all your teeth so you can't bite your tongue. Yo, we got another level up for Kane, bro. Oh no, that's oh that's funky. Oh damn, we're on another we're on another loop of leveling already. Oh wait, no, Elaine went up, then funky. Okay, so we got a little bit out of order. Unless, yeah, because this should be Kane, right? Okay, yeah, our level up's got a little... Oh, I know why they got jacked up, because... Because, uh... Kane died earlier. Or Elaine died. Somebody died earlier, and it kind of screwed up the... The staggering of the leveling a little bit. <sighs> you guys love it when you gotta figure out which way to go? Isn't it the best? Isn't it the best to pathfind through a dungeon? Alright, left here. Fuck! It wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have to fucking fight for Can't even get through a goddamn room. It's like a ten step room, not even. Fight two battles in it. Jesus. It's like a five step room. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna go right here. I don't know why. It feels right. But, um. No! No fiery torrents of flames. It's bad. Cut it out. The only freaking song you've heard from a Lonely Island is I Just Had Sex. That one's pretty good. But, the one I was referring to is it's called YOLO You Only Live Once. Which also stands for You Ought to Look Out. basically 
he describes a, a furniture as a killing machine. Because you ought to look out. Everything will kill you. It's basically just a paranoia song. YOLO means you ought to look out because everything's out to kill you. That kind of thing. It's a funny song. And they sing it with uh, Adam Levine from Maroon 5. Oh, we found another way to go. Uh, up. Yup, yup. Oh, progress, progress. <sighs> left. Please be left. For the love of left, be left, please. Always left will prevail. Always left will prevail. Yes, okay. Stay left. Yes! Okay. Oh my god. This is the longest path ever, dude. I'm gonna forget this path if I fuck up. I don't know where the I don't know where I'm gonna end up, man. Why are you sapping me? It's just me and you, dude. You're dead already. You tyrannifuckle. <sighs> Left. Oh god. One more battle. Just just to just to fucking s twist the knife. God damn it. This is too many paths, man. Too many paths. No! Oh, man! Oh, fuck my butt. All that just to go the wrong way. So anyway, back on the topic of Lonely Island. I highly recommend all their stuff. I find them to be highly entertaining. Their songs are high quality because they make them with actual, like, legit musical artists. I.e. I Just Had Sex featuring Akon. YOLO featuring Adam Levine from Maroon 5. I.e. Uh, that one song with Rihanna. I.e. that one rap song with Natalie Portman. That's not a musical artist, but hey, it's pretty funny. Uh, I.e. that one song with Nicki Minaj, Do the Creep. Do the Creep. Uh, yes. There's plenty more, I'm just blanking. But, you know, good stuff. I'm a fan. Hope they do more stuff at some point. I believe the last album they did was uh, the one they did for their movie that they did, the pop star movie. Which that album was pretty funny. I like that album. Anyway, Lane's level 32. Hell yeah. Save that shit. But anyway, yeah. I'm a big fan of Lonely Island. They're good They're, they're good shit. Pretty sure I went up here, and then I... The next branch, I went left. God, I hope I remember the path. I can't believe I remember the path at this point. Did I ever mention that I hate this dungeon? I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but... Uh, fuck this dungeon. 1,000%. Alright, we're going right. Here we go. Okay. Now what? Are all their songs as funny or even more so than I Just Had Sex? I mean, the lyrics was damn ridiculous funny and good. Uh... I mean, not every song is as funny as, you know, I don't even, I wouldn't even say Just Had Sex is their funniest song. It's one of their funniest songs. It's definitely their most, one of their most popular songs. I mean, it has one of the most popular subject matters in the entire of the human, human race. A little bit of that S-E-X. Holy moly gujoli, we're outside. We're outside, guys. We did it. We did it. We, we, we absolutely did it. We, we absolutely did it. Holy moly, holy, 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 holy. I can't believe we did it, guys. We broke on through to the other side. I'm so proud. I don't know if we're going to fight hard at monsters in this area, so I'm like, pr I'm pre-preparing.
I knew we would eventually find the way. Oh yeah, Dick in a Box with uh, Justin Timberlake, that's a good one. Jizz in My Pants, that's a hilarious one. I know a ton of songs, Dragon. I just was trying to think of ones that had featuring like other musical artists. Dick in the Box with Justin Timberlake, that one's pretty funny. Um, by the way, we're on, we're on the map. Oh yeah, those are the actual names of the songs. Dick in a Box, Jizz in My Pants. Uh, good times. Uh, I'm guessing the top right is not the last place? I don't know. Let's just explore. Holy moly, we got brand new enemy sprites and everything. We got an arch demon and a gigantes. Fuck him up! Oh yeah, on a boat! The boat song with T Pain, dude. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Oh yeah, dude. On a boat. That's 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 the jam. Also, Funky and Elaine got wrecked. I'm on a boat. What? I'm on a boat. Take a good hard look at the motherfucking boat. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Take a look at me. Alright, that Archdemon, he hits hard. So did the Gigantes, but I think the Archdemon was the one that wrecked my shit. Also, we got another level up, because look at that experience bump. God damn! Damn! Kindergarten, that's a good one. Good song, also. We're going Kindergarten. Go dumb. Eat garbage. <laughs> We're going in kindergarten. Yeah, Shy Ronnie's the one with Rihanna that I was talking about earlier. That's the name of that one. Well met, brave Funky G. Long have I waited to my coming. Benevolence, blah blah blah. The divine plan descended from the line of Mighty Erdrich. Okay, so we have a save spot here. Let's make an actual legit save. We haven't done one of those in a hot minute. Since I was level 25, apparently. That's a long time ago. Oh yeah, there's Shirani 1 and 2. True, true. By this teleportal, may you return to the, to the world beyond the mountains. By all means, avail yourself of should... Avail yourselves of should it be arise. But where does it take me? Are you serious? Are you serious? Please tell me I can teleport back there. Oh, God, I had a small heart attack, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Woo! We can go back. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Wait. Oh, that guy healed me, huh? The guy in that shrine healed me. Never mind. I was gonna go heal, but I don't need to now. Never mind. Okay, we're good. Good times. Okay, let's go ahead and pop quick save, and, uh, I guess head toward the end. I don't know, the monsters in this area are pretty scary. I might have to maybe grind a little bit more. I don't know what level the end of the game really, uh, expects, but we can at least try and make our way to the final spot on the map, just to see how we have to get there, what path it requires. But yeah, I, I recommend just go through... Like, I don't know what you're going to use to stream the Lonely Island songs. I don't know, Spotify or YouTube or whatever, but yeah. Just, like, go to most popular and start from there and then just let it let it roll. I don't know how you want to do it. So. <sighs> Three enemies here, huh? Let's, uh, mm, let's get rid of this Frostburn guy. He worries me. He greatly concerns myself. Ah, oh, mother effer with your fiery flames of fury. There's very few Lonely Island songs. I keep thinking about Lonely Island now, but... There's very few... That I... 
dislike or don't, you know, care for less than others. I like almost all their stuff. Pretty rare to run into one of their songs where I'm like, eh, that's not a good one. I'm trying to even think of one I don't like. I mean, I guess there's a few on the albums that are kind of like not as fleshed out as others, but they're still funny to listen to. I just don't seek them out as often. Like, I remember one where they're like telling a story about they're having these these fine freaks over for, for you know, they're gonna have these fine freaks come over. And then, uh, they're their, like, shitty, nasty friend comes over, but right before the freaks get there and he has to take a fat shit, and they don't want him to come inside. It's basically like one of their outro songs to one of their albums, and they're like, Oh, you thought we couldn't do fart jokes no more? <laughs> basically just a big fart joke for the final song of the album. It's, it's pretty absurd, but it makes sense for the, for the album. Anyway, the Captain Sparrow song, I actually like that one. This is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow. Kill him! Kill the Archdemon! Damn, dude, we're flying up in levels with these enemies. They're giving us way too much experience points. Funky about to be level 40 before we even reach this dungeon. Or this place. I don't even know if it's going to be a dungeon. I would assume so, though. And I like the, the, the Nicki Minaj creep song. Oh, and there's the one with Lady Gaga. The, uh, the three-way one. It's not gay when it's in a three-way. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Alright, Elaine 33, good stuff. Batman Drill, what a name. It's fucking Spark Batman Drill. Fucking Batman Drill. What a name. Batman. No. Yeah, the golden rule. The three-way. That's what they call it. The golden rule. That's the three-way one I was talking about. It's the golden rule. Wasn't the other color palette version of the Batman drill like hella different? It was like white and silver. He was called Silver something. So yeah, he was a little different. It was like Silva, Silva, Silva. I don't even remember what it was called. Silverectomy. Oh yeah, the Mother Lover song. That's another one with uh, Justin Timberlake. I'm a mother lover, you're a mother lover. We should fuck each other's mothers. Fuck each other's mothers. <laughs> what a song. We have to do a uh, Lonely Island karaoke night where I just sing the Lonely Island songs. <laughs> fucking love their stuff. Actually, I love their stuff from, like, every album, too. Like, even stuff on their first album that doesn't have features on it, I still love that shit. Like, the, uh, the Space Olympics one, the one where they're talking about eating boiled goose. Um, the, I don't remember what, how that one goes, but fuck, man, I fucking love those guys. They're, they're some idols of mine, for sure good times. Anyway, I somehow figured out the way to get here without too much trouble, which is nice. The problem is, I'm probably going to have to go back and heal again, but we'll see. We'll see how things progress. I at least wanted to go in here, or get to here, see what it required, and see if it's a full-on dungeon. Because if it is, we may have to grind for a little longer, because these enemies are kind of whooping my ass. Although I don't know how much better it could possibly be other than getting more money to buy 
Ooh, these guys cast the whack. You gotta be careful. Um, they're, they're, I have the like. There's that one armor I can buy that's like 65k. I don't have 65k yet though. That's a lot of money, man. I can sell a couple swords. To be fair. Yeah, I'm only at 56k. I also probably would, would want to go and get like my MP healing items and stuff. To, like really be ready. But we're here, so let's quick save and check it out. After we fight another Archdemon real quick, don't mind me. Good lord. No! Stop kabooming! It hurts! Boy, vey. Oh my god, double Kassab? We're in bad situation with double Kassab. And then triple cassette. So we basically have zero defense right now. Don't take my star. Don't take my star is not... The take my star song is not a Lonely Island song. Sir. Kane is now 38. Oh, I'm not denying that Take My Star is an awesome song. What? What? Why are we here? 